On Thanksgiving brings a cornucopia, and today we do have this cornucopia yeah. of economic data. Let's talk about the ones that uh, you'll trade on. Uh, watch the bottom of the screen here for all the data that we might not get to. Initial jobless claims, of course, the one everybody wants to see, and it's bad news again today. 778,000 new claims. That's up from 742,000. I don't have the revision yet on the prior week's number, but it was 742,000. Continuing claims continue to fall, 6,071,000. However, remember, that means people are moving from the uh, regular jobless claims benefits to the extended benefits. Uh, the wholesale trade balance, the advanced goods trade balance, the advanced trade report, an $80 billion uh, $80.3 billion trade deficit in the month of uh, October. That is just slightly lower than the $80.4 billion that had been forecast, uh, $79 billion last quarter. So another uh, drag on the third quarter growth numbers, or this will be on the fourth quarter growth numbers because we got into October. Uh, we're just getting the uh, durable goods numbers down now. That's one that uh, people are going to be watching closely. Durable goods orders overall up 1.3 percent. That's more than the eight-tenths forecast and uh, not quite as much as 1.9 percent in September. Capital goods orders Non-defense X Air. This is the part that goes into GDP that uh, economists like to look at. It's up 0.7 percent, seven tenths of a percent, down from one percent last month, but uh, up uh, above the uh, five tenths of a percent forecast number. So uh, durable goods <coughs> come in better than expected. Jobless claims come in worse than expected. Pretty much what we have seen in terms of the narrative that the labor market yeah. is deteriorating, but factories and production hanging in because inventories had been so low. We do have wholesale and retail inventories out. Wholesale inventories up nine tenths, retail inventories up eight tenths. So some of that factory well, work is going into warehouses. Now. Mike, you know, folks, I can't convey enough how difficult this is for Mr. McKee now versus when we used to all get the data dump up front. Boom, it was there, and McKee could massage it. Mike, what I find so important here is I got a 33 percent statistic on GDP, looking back long ago to the summer months when Farrell was out hiking in Switzerland or whatever he was, taking six weeks off. Michael McKee, how far are we from the boom of that 33 percent bounce? Uh, we've come a long way down, Tom, at this point. I mean, I didn't mention GDP. This is the first revision of it. It comes yeah. in at 33.1 percent, exactly the same as uh, the prior quarter, so no real changes there. Uh, the point is, is uh, the economy was bouncing back <clears throat> there. That was just a, a, a bounce. And now we're in the yeah. uh, question of whether or not we're expanding again. The latest data, uh, we don't incorporate today's numbers in it, but from like the Atlanta Fed GDP now is about a 5 percent increase in GDP so far for the fourth quarter, but that'll come down. We're expecting uh, something in the 3 percent range overall by the end of the quarter. And of course, you got people like J.P. Morgan saying we're going to have a contraction in the first quarter. Mike, I want to go back to one data point. This is a flood of information. One of them stands out to me, and that is the initial jobless claims, which comes out substantially higher than people had expected. It was revised upward last week. The, 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 the headline here is that more people are filing for jobless uh, support at this point than last week. This is not what you want to be seeing, especially because we're supposedly in a recovery. Can you give a sense of why this matters, why this data point is potentially the most most important among a slew of information today? Well, consumption is two-thirds of the economy, and if you don't have a job and you don't have a paycheck, you're not going to be buying a whole lot, and that's what people are concerned about right now. On a longer-term basis, and this will be an issue for Janet Yellen as Treasury Secretary, uh, how do you get those people back to work if their companies are closing? And the kind of stories you see now, Lee, uh, Lisa, uh, are about companies that uh, had barely made it through to this point. And now with COVID cases accelerating everywhere, a lot of those places are just not going to be able to reopen. They're going to run out of their ability to stay open, and particularly without any kind of stimulus, uh, extra money coming in, uh, a lot of people are going to be off work for a long time. And uh, the thing everybody's watching is the growth in long-term <clears throat> unemployment, which has been uh, very large recently.